Howdy, I'm Skyler. With iOS 5, which came out last year sometime in 2011, Apple gave us all Find My iPhone, and the world rejoiced because it meant that if you downloaded an app to your phone, that you could track it online. At the time, when it first became available, it was through MobileMe, and now it's actually a feature of iCloud. If you go to the App Store and download Find My iPhone, install it, and open it up, it'll look something like this. I have it installed on a couple of my devices, which are all signed in with iCloud. So I'm just going to sign in real quick. And what you'll see here is a list of all the devices I have that are being tracked by iCloud. So I can see my iPad right here. If I tap that, it'll open up Maps. It was located less than a minute ago, and I can see that it is safe and sound at home. At the bottom here, I can tap Play Sound. So if I thought it was in the house but I didn't know where it was, I could make it go ding, 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 ding. Uh, I could lock it, so put a passcode on it so that nobody else could get to it if I thought that it had been stolen. And in the extreme circumstance that I knew it had been stolen and I really didn't want information to be compromised, I could tap Erase iPad. The same thing would be true for iPhone. So if I tap here, Skylar Kelly's iPhone, I see the same thing. I can put it in a lost mode if I want, and that means that it will broadcast its location to me through iCloud, and that way I can uh, deliver the information to the authorities if I think that it's been stolen, and I really would like them to go get it for me. Uh, it's a really, really, really handy feature. and. Find My iPhone paired up with Apple Care Plus mean that you've got loss protection, physical damage protection, and water damage protection, plus a standard warranty for a pretty sweet deal. I highly recommend all three things. So, good luck out there. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.